everybody, my name is Skullkid, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about Super Mario Maker for 3DS, and more specifically, if I think it will bring new content to the Wii U version of Super Mario Maker, kind of in the same manner that um, Hyrule Warriors Legend brought DLC um, to the Wii U version. So, you know, like in Hyrule Warriors Legends, um, when you purchased DLC on the 3DS version, I believe you got it for free on the Wii U version. Hopefully they do that, but um, honestly, if they do actually add DLC to the Wii U version, um, it probably will be free even if you don't have the 3DS version, because if the DLC isn't free in Mario Maker, then um, courses start to look weird, right? Or That's not what I mean, but if you don't have the DLC, then how do you play courses with the DLC? It gets confusing, so... Essentially, all I wanted to say is, th on, to be honest, they're probably going to add content to the 3DS version if they want to keep people playing it or buying it on the 3DS, so they'll probably be nice and also bring the DLC to Wii U. Um, hopefully this will be further proven by the fact that for the first time in a couple months, um, Nintendo added a uh, event course about um, the Undo Dog a couple days ago on Mario Maker for Wii U. I think there's definitely gonna be new content on the 3DS as I said, and hopefully this content will come over on the Wii U. A few ideas that I have for Nintendo, but I, I know I'm not gonna be listened to, but a few ideas that would definitely be cool, um, a few basic ideas, but also kind of hard to program, maybe, I don't know. Um, but anyways, because yeah, this is kind of changing the whole way the game works, but um, definitely slopes would be awesome. I mean, if there was, like, Mario sliding down slopes, um, crushing Goompas on his way, that would be sick. Um, even if it's just, like, a new Super Mario Brothers U exclusive, or... I know they had slopes in pretty much all the Mario games, probably except the first one. Um, but yeah, but definitely also there's, um, aesthetic fixes that would be kind of cool. Um, like, you see, in, um, one thing that really bothers me, I never actually heard someone else complain about this, but, you know when you place a block, um, just beside the start, um, start goal, I don't know if I can say that, or, or the end goal, it's not like the ground merges together, there's just a crack in the ground, at least it's especially noticeable if you're in, like, the new Super Mario World, or, like, uh, not New Super, but anyways, uh, in Super Mario World or in the New Super Mario Brothers U theme, but it's just an aesthetic change that should be switched, um, that, like, it's hard to explain here, but, like, if there wasn't, like, this thing that assumed that you're not gonna place a block after, you can, like, merge the blocks and it would look aesthetically pleasing, and I don't know. I don't know if I'll manage to put something on screen for this to make sense. I I'm realizing that I'm making no sense right now, um, but hopefully you guys understand. Anyways, another content update that would be good would be like to add the Super Mario World um, text blocks, because um, then you can have people uh, writing um, levels with story-driven narrative, because I know there's a bunch of levels that are kind of story-based or stuff like that, and those are really cool, so if they had those blocks that had text from Super Mario World, and this would obviously need to be, like, um, available in all of the themes, because that would be super useful, because what people do right now is they just comment on the levels and hope nobody else comments too much, um, they comment um, saying the stuff, but there's an 88 character limit, but you know, uh, that would be cool. So those are like the three ideas I came up for cool content updates, slopes being the major one I found, of course. Um, I actually didn't have much ideas, but I'm sure there's so much more you could do. Also, I haven't played all of the old Mario games, so I actually didn't have that many ideas. Of course, you can always add enemies and items and stuff, but you know, it's those types of major things like slopes that actually add a lot to the game, or like a couple new power-ups, but I mean, those would probably bug a bunch of stuff trying to add a whole new power-up, um, but you know, it's those types of things that make the game so much better. So anyways guys, those are kind of the ideas I had just quickly put up together, um, but if you have ideas, um, share them in the comments. 
That would be awesome. We can start a great little discussion about Super Mario Maker for Wii U and for 3DS. Whichever version you're playing on, definitely feel free to watch um, my Mario Maker videos for Wii U. Um, that I try to do at least once a month. There should be one coming soon if it's not already out by the time this releases. But definitely, um, also, of course, as always, I'm playing people's courses, so course ideas are welcome. Even in these videos, I'll be looking at the comments, as always. So anyways, guys, that's it for today and the Mario Maker videos. If you haven't seen my previous Mario Maker video, um, hopefully it'll be in the uh, outro at the end of this video. And I'm not sure what's, which one's actually releasing first. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And share this video to your friends. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to Skull Kid Gaming for more on Super Mario Maker and all things gaming right here on Skull Kid Gaming. Have a great day everybody and I hope to see you in the next video.